Michael Gray, you took part in the very first parish walk in 1960. I did. And you, um, it started in the evening, it and did. I gather that you, you worked through the day and went straight from work to That's the right, start. we finished work at five. I go home, have a bit of tea, and put your feet up for a little while. And uh, as regards to clothes, well, I, that very first parish ward, I had a pair of, uh, uh, I think they were grey uh, trousers and uh, ammunition boots. My socks, to, uh, my trousers tucked in my socks, a sweater with a, a neckerchief on, and um, you had no idea what you were letting yourself no, in for. I knew the um. island, but I didn't know what I was. This distance walk entailed. Really, I was fit, fit enough, but. Uh, you know, you didn't know your feet would be subjected to the distance you were going to walk, you see. And um, you, you, you obviously got uh, tired after a hard day's work and 30-odd oh, yes. miles. <laughs> and then you reached Patrick and there was a surprise there well, for you, there Patrick. Well, I don't know who organised. Well, the actual uh, Manx A.C., uh, uh, Arthur Curry, Arthur Jones, uh, uh, Johnny Quine, uh, Lonnie Sykes, I think there's the three I can remember, they were, they were the dominant figures, and somebody amongst them three had organised this year, a big feed, as we call it, in a little house opposite the Patrick Church, and it was marvellous. I remember big Peter Luthwaite, he was walking at the time, and uh, we really got stuck in there, a good feed, and then uh, had a feed, a cup of tea, and off we went into, out into, the, into the unknown, really. And you, and, and you took the lead. Well, well I, I did, I, really. Well, Kurt Michael. I, I, Kurt Michael, I, well, my wife Olga, she walked with me to keep me company up as far as, um, and Alan called him a mate. He'd come out on his motorbike and he left it in the hedgerow. So we, we walked as far as Kurt Michael, and uh, there was a guy named, I think it was Lissy Neal, I think he was from Laxey, and I asked who was the lady. He said, well, he was, but he, somebody gave him, I think it was a black currant, rum and black currant, and he was sick. Mm -hmm. So then I was in the lead then, so I headed off then out towards Balaf, and then uh, getting down towards Yerby, and then it was... Uh, uh, what they called Stan Cleeter and young Harvey. They passed me because I was getting a bit sore on my foot. Got as far as the bottom of the Jerby Church and uh, I had this big blister on my left foot which I showed to Arthur Curry and he said, that's you finished, Michael. So I ended up in Ramsey Cottage Hospital and uh, there was a gang of us in there with all sorts of aches and pains and uh, getting the wrath from the, uh, uh, from the um, what they call the matron. I got sympathy, but all the other people, Cathy O'Kane, they'd all stiffened up, you see. So, so you were the first first leader of the parish walk. Oh, yes. and you led them. You you finished in '61. That's right. You came back and finished in 2006. That's you're right. done 2007. Right. How 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 old can you possibly complete I don't the know. parish walk? Well, as I said to you before, Marie, it's it's a lot of it. If your feet is good, and it's psych psychological, really, you know. Uh, that are, you hit, you all hit the wall, and of course the weather we had this year was appalling. But uh, if you can get off that, it, and it's a, it's a wonderful, wonderful event and a but wonderful achievement. Could someone ever do it when they're eighty? I think so. 